Hello friends, oh, what's up? It is the day after Senna's launch party. It is 8 a.m. in the morning. I am headed to pick up Manal. We are headed off to our next adventure. I'm, I'm so tired, if you can't tell. Um, I didn't go to like the after party that Senna and them were having because I knew I wouldn't be able to wake up. So I got home around like one or two. And then by the time I slept, it was like honestly three or four o'clock. So I didn't get to sleep much. But that's okay because this freaking cold is really waking me up right now so yeah we are headed to a place called prince edward county so it's not prince edward island which is in canada but it's a totally different province this is prince edward county um so it's like about a three hour drive i think it's like a little bit up north i think i don't know but yeah so we're headed there for my annual for the annual like body shop uh retreat that i go on uh this will be my third year going and last year was the first one i went with manal the one before that i went by myself and uh, not by myself but like with a bunch of other girls from uh toronto Sana's launch went very well she put so much her and osama i should say put so much hard work into this entire party so i really hope that it turned out the way they wanted it to they had dancers there they had food they had afghani food they had um they had, everything was so nicely done i hope you guys were able to see from my video i think that video is going to be on my main channel because I wanted to show you guys how I did my makeup and stuff and I wanted to like obviously show everybody that Sana has lashes now that everyone can purchase so um, go on shop Sansa Beauty so now we are just headed to Manal's we're gonna go grab her and then we're gonna grab coffee and food from Timmy's and then we are headed on our three-hour drive to Prince Edward County Manal, can I see yours? Yeah. I, didn't, I don't think I've ever seen oh yeah I see this one that's a cute one one. Okay, so our um, little card key holder thing wasn't working, so we finally got it to work. So now I just got in the room. I'm going to show you guys the little overview quickly. This is the door that we came in from, and then it has this uh, this part, which is the washroom, which I guess will go in first. Like the stained glass in this. So this is the washroom, and then this is a shower. Oh, this is a cute shower. Very cute, very cute. And then we got the body shop uh, scalp care in this. This one, if you have dandruff, it's really good. Um, and then out here, we got some fuzzy little, I think these are socks. We got some mittens. We got um, a hat, which is good because I didn't bring one. We got robes here. And then we got sledding. Oh my God, I think we might be going sledding tomorrow. That's going to be your surprise, I think. We have this. We have the washroom, like the sink area here. And then we have all of their their new collection so if you guys remember every year i come they actually the body shop every christmas or like holiday season they support a new cause this year they're um they are partnered up with plan canada so it has to do with the i am a, because i'm a girl movement whenever you buy or purchase something from the body shop for this uh holiday collection or for this holiday season proceeds will be going to plan canada's international youth programs to advance gender equality you feel me so that's gonna be here and then we got our shower we got more this is cute i wonder if they have different ones and then we got some skincare which is great and then this is me Ooh, i want this light on this is nice perfect and then down here we got some more goodies what is this this is something to do with alcohol we got some treats here and let's see here is some more goodies so we got the, a pillow we got some pajamas and then we got there some collections over here which is really nice and then we got some i'll open these later for you guys and then some more stuff here we got a seat here oh what is this i wonder if it works and then outside oh this is it outside this is my seat there we go so that's it now actually oh my god i don't know why i'm killing time right now because we actually have to be ready in less than 15 minutes, so I'm going to quickly do my makeup. I should have brought a little holder for my phone, but I didn't. So I'm going to quickly do my makeup, and then we're going to go to a cooking class, and then we're going to go to a winery, I believe, so that'll be fun. I just totally noticed that this says Miss Santa, going with the theme of the Because I Am a Girl campaign. Um, so I really, I just noticed this, which is really cute. And here is our itinerary. So we are currently at this place. So we're going to do the cooking class. We have the winery tour. Then we have, then we're going to go back to the hotel. Then we have free time for about two hours. So we can probably take some pictures and all that stuff. Then at 6.30, we're going to go in our PJs. And 
We're gonna jo go to a glass room, which is nice. Seven o'clock, we're gonna get craft. Manal came well prepared with her shoes. There's two types of people in the world. People who dress like me, people who dress like Manal. So we're first having a cooking class, which I can't wait. So I hope the food is good. And then we're doing the wine tour. All you saw was anal. You want me to say it properly? <laughs> say what you actually see. All you saw is anal. <laughs> no, look at my camera. <laughs> Yes, get those olives. <laughs> Garlicky olives. Yeah. Just on the side. Very pretty. Nice enough though, you know. Okay. And then we just do a little drizzle. Sourdough bread in one of our soups. Tomato bread. Ew, that's <laughs> Yep, help yourselves to the soups. Good soup. It's actually good. The filling is really sweet and then the fruit is sour. It's like baby food. It is like baby food, you're right. Yeah. Mm. That one better? Mm. Way better. Okay guys, so we are back. I couldn't get to film much of the cooking because I didn't bring a tripod with, with me. So now we're back in the room. We have two hours to kill and I think I'm gonna take a nap or I'm just gonna chill because I couldn't, like I didn't get that much sleep last night because Sunday's party was last night. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably keep my makeup on and then just kind of like chill out. And then we have two hours to kill. So hopefully I can take a nap and then we're gonna go for, I think they're gonna do a sauna thing, which I might not go into the sauna. Um, so we're gonna be doing some crafts and then we're also gonna have dinner and have some fun karaoke stuff after, so. So I put on my pajamas. They have my name on it. We got the Liba. They're tights. The tights are in a, the, I think the whole thing is in a medium. So my tights are very loose, but then I like that my pants are, I mean, my shirt is super oversized, so it's cute. So now I'm gonna over, head over to Manal's and then we're gonna go do whatever we're meant to do for the day. I'm, I'm very sleepy. Okay, so I'm gonna, like tie my pajamas because they're really loose they're gonna fall off so i'm gonna tie it with a hair tie here literally <laughs> so, everybody's in their pajamas we're all matching Ooh. So we walked over, we walked over, it wasn't too far, but we're gonna make stockings now. Everybody's in matching pajamas, so it should be fun. I hope I can make mine cute. I'm with you on this, for sure. Ooh, these are heavy. It was a mocktail, how's it? Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, it's actually really good. Close your eyes or look down in your laps. So I'm going to read this to you. It's going to be a bit of like a moment of meditation, okay? So imagine Christmas where anything is possible. It's the season to make a wish. Little girls used to dream about being princesses because we told them that's what they should be. This Christmas, we're helping girls all over the world to dream big. Be an astronaut, be an engineer, be a president or a prime minister, be an activist, or be your biggest dream. Yeah? Yes. Woo! Woo! Okay. Gender inequality is a girl saying no and being ignored. Gender inequality is women being excluded from making decisions about their lives. 
Gender inequality is the millions of girls and young women who are missing out on education, training or employment because they have to look after their home. That's what gender inequality really means. Let me tell you something else about gender inequality. It's not going anywhere if we go on as we are. We pat ourselves on the back and talk about the steady progress we're making. We're too polite. No. If we really want to achieve gender equality, we need to act. And act fast. Now. We need to be brave. We need to be as brave as the girls in Malawi who, with Plan International's help, changed the law and ended child marriage. We need to be as brave as Sophie and her fellow campaigners who fought for and won sexual health services for young people in Uganda. With the Sustainable Development Goals, the world's leaders have committed to achieving gender equality by 2030. But we're not moving fast enough. We can't just nod our heads and make the right noises. <coughs> we need the courage to raise our voices and say, we will fight for gender equality and believe in what we say. We need the courage to invest in the change we want to see. Invest time, invest commitment, and invest money. In boardrooms and workplaces. So we're gonna make stockings and we're gonna gift them. So watch me make them. How dare you? Guys, I thought these are marshmallows and I was going to eat it, but they're bath bombs. No, don't eat them. I am not creative. Okay, I'm trying really hard and I just don't know. I think the only one without glitter. Oh, it looks really good. Yeah, I genuinely feel bad for who gets mine. Just know I tried very hard, you guys. The aftermath. Oh, this is cool. Miss the Santa, right? Miss yeah, Claus? Miss Santa. Santa. Where's my cup? Let me give you one. I think I see mine. I remember this from the skating. I stole some chocolate from the s'more section, but I didn't make a s'more. Now. Good shit. Hi. So we're gonna try to roast marshmallow here. Can we both fit? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> It's worse and worse. This gift on my door is a some shoes from Le Chateau. They look like this. And also this really cute jacket. It says the body shop here. And it also says the body shop on the back. And now we're just packing. There's supposed to be like a huge snowstorm. So initially we were supposed to leave around one o'clock, but now we're going to leave around 11 because um, they want us to like avoid the snow. 
and like the snowstorm and all that kind of stuff. So we're just quickly packing, gonna put it all in my car and then we're out. Really froze overnight. That's how cold it is here in my water bottle. That's nice. Taking the toboggan. This I'm gonna get some use out of for sure. This winter, when all's gonna take cares. There we go. Oh my god. I got an egg and cheese, and then I got a hash brown, and Manal got tea. everything bagel, tea, oh, if the no, world sees your face, <laughs> and then I got a regular coffee, and then, okay guys, if you like chai, Manal's recipe from Timmy's is two milk, one cream, one sugar, two milk, one cream, one sugar, in a steep tea, and it's really good. For the health. So I just dropped Manal off to her house. Um, the weather here is really bad. It's funny because like I don't think it's snowing too much in Toronto, but in Mississauga, it's actually really bad. It's like a mix of hail, snow, also some rain, and then just all slush on the floor. So luckily I have my four wheel drive on, on my Jeep, but I don't think anyone else with like a normal car should be driving because they don't have like the trucks out that are pouring out salt yet. And it's just very dangerous. Like even just driving me in the regular roads, like my car was like slipping in the slush on four wheel drive. So if you guys are in Canada, just drive carefully, especially when it's snowing. Cause I feel like it's just, you never know when you might hit a patch of ice. So I'm gonna go home now cause it's Cheddar's birthday. I was initially gonna go straight to my place in Toronto, but it's Cheddar's birthday. Mom is sick, she has a fever, and she's just sick in general. And also, I'm an idiot, I didn't bring like my car, key, uh, my house keys, my fob, for the garage and everything like that, garage. I just said garage, really weird. So I have to go home and pick all that up, and I might as well eat food, if there's some food there, because I have told you guys, I'm done for vegetarian food, right? Like, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of vegetarian food. The problem happens for me is when there's it's vegan, um, it's like a huge adjustment and the body shop is cruelty free so I think they, they feed us vegan every year so I just I haven't ate much basically because it's not too filling so I want to go home and eat something so hopefully there's some food and yeah that's it no more updates Zara likes this jacket I think it looks sick I mean they got it we were supposed to go sledding and then it was too snowy yeah, I like it. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, guys, go check out my dad's TikTok. I filmed a video for him. It got million views overnight. He's so happy. Oh, but you're a TikTok star now. She's jealous? <laughs> okay, so you know what I'm going to do with this, guys? I'm going to tie it to my Jeep. Zard, won't that be so much fun? We're gonna tie it to the back of my Jeep and then we're gonna sit on it and we're gonna go sledding. Wee! <laughs> Mom, how annoyed are you? Yo, this is. You have seen this one hour? Yeah. It's 6,000. Oh, wow. Yes, it's a good one. Okay. Nice. And it shows it, it's too. all about gender <laughs> equality. Yes, Baba. Did you see him? How he came up to me uh. just now? Do you want a toy? Here, I'll open this. For your birthday, you want a toy? Give me pa. Go boy. Give me this pa. Go boy. Here you go. But as soon as I open another box, he's gonna come after that. Really? Yeah, watch. Okay, so do you need anything? Because most of this I'm giving to I'm giving away. Cause like, what do I? What do I? That's what I'm saying. Do you Yo, need anything? No, no. What did you take? I got the glow power. You know what I'm saying? I got. Zara's has a skincare yeah. skincare routine. You guys, guys, you need Listen, to have a skincare routine. There's nothing wrong with this. Skincare is for everybody. Yeah, and everybody with a sister probably has a little bit, anyways. To be honest. What are you doing? Why are you gonna break even it? Before Lava was famous. Uh, I did a face mask once or twice in my life. I would always I force him to. Do you remember the Haldi one that we did? Huh? Do you remember the Haldi okay, one? Yo, so take it. <laughs> I was telling them. I'm freaking 14 years old, right? I've never done a face mask or any kind of thing in my life. Lab is like 
hey, I'm doing this mask before we go to school. It's the first day before school. My first day of high school, right? So what does Lila do? <laughs> Lila whips up this haldi brown desi face mask, right? Stupid ass Lila. Doesn't at this point in time, Lila doesn't even know how to do her makeup, right? Yeah, I don't. I shouldn't have trusted her. I should have known that. We w went to school with yellow faces, guys. Long story short, <laughs> don't simple out the story. Simpson ass. She puts this yellow stuff on my face, right? And I'm like, cool, whatever. We're with it, chilling with the yellow stuff. Hour later, we wash our faces. And we're yellow. Our faces are still yellow. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I almost wanted to kill her. I honestly wanted we to kill her. We scrubbed our face with like, St. Ives. Do you remember yeah, the apricot scrub? Scrubbing, scrub? and scrubbing, and it just stayed <laughs> yellow. And then luckily, by the next day, no one noticed that. They're my yeah, favorite. This, one, this one's the Liddy one. Right? Since the Himalayan, but if you don't close it properly, it dries out. Yeah, you gotta. Mesh you gotta keep up. that little top thing yeah, on it. Yeah, like like just like. Hard. I actually really like this jacket. I'm gonna rock it. The body shop, everywhere. Okay, Chaja Bobo, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Okay. Happy birthday to you. This documentary called Broken. It's about like counterfeit makeup. I'll tell you guys how it is.